Hello, I am Dr. Imran Khan. Today we will discuss 3D FinFits and multi-gate transistors. FinFit is the most promising device technology for extending Moore's law all the way to 5 nanometer. It offers excellent solution to the problems of sub-threshold leakage, poor short channel electrostatic behavior, and high device parameters variability that played planar CMOS as it scaled down to 20 nanometer. Furthermore, its ability to operate at much lower supply voltage extended voltage scaling which was leveling off and allowed further badly needed static and dynamic power savings. Due to many superior attributes especially in the areas of performance, leakage power, intra-die variability, low voltage operation, and significantly lower retination voltage for SRAMs, FinFITs are replacing planar CMOS as device of choice. For decades, IC industry has incorporated the traditional planar transistor in chip design, but this technology is running out of gas at 20 nanometer logic nodes. This is due to short channel effects and other factors. So to circumvent these issues, the industry is moving towards FinFit transistors. Intel moved into production with FinFits at 22 nanometer node. The foundries ramped up FinFits at 16 and 14 nanometer. So here you can see uh, 32 nanometer. Uh, we are using uh, planar transistors. 22 nanometers it's uh, FinFit and beyond nanometer it's stack nanowire transistors. So let's focus on the FinFits here. In FinFits the traditional 2D planar gate is replaced with silicon fin that rises up vertically from the silicon substrate. So here uh, you can see the control of current accomplished by implementing a gate at each of the three sides of fin two or each other and one across the top fin fit transistors in turn form conducting channel on three sides of fin structure providing a fully depleted operation this enable chips to operate at lower voltage at lower leakage so here you can uh, see uh, this uh, 3D uh, structure of FinFit. Generally, a FinFit could have two or more fins in the same structure. So, like uh, these are the fins, you can see the spacing between the individual fins is the fin patch. So, here you can see it's a fin patch, it's the spacing between two fins. Chip makers hope to scale the fin pitch by 0.7 uh, times at each node. The lithography process determines the fin pitch. Meanwhile, fin, fin fit has distinct, uh, distinct width, height, and shape. These fins are developed using deposition, etch, and other steps. And of course, the gate is also has various characteristics namely gate lengths so here you can see so uh, this was uh, the scaling to the end of the road map so in this slide we uh, we discussed the mosfet evolution but we focused on uh, the finfish structures only so here this is uh, our target to focus on the finfits so this was uh, the traditional uh, planar uh, transistor structure. So in the traditional planar transistor structure, so these are basically the old structures here. So here we will discuss this NMOS uh, transistor structure. So here you have this poly gate and this is source and the drain. So we are discussing NMOS transistors. So we have this N plus diffusions at both uh, source and drain regions. So its body is P-type. So here you have this gate and here this 
field oxide or gate oxide okay so the input current to this gate is always zero because uh, this gate is connected to this channel region via an insulator so there is no current conduction here so uh, how this uh, transistor uh, work so this is uh, the old uh, planar transistors but uh, we will replace this uh, transistor structure by a fin fit okay so you apply uh, voltage at uh, this gate terminal and controls the current between source and drain terminals okay so this is uh, the working principle of your uh, planar transistors okay uh, good old mosfet nearing limits okay so this uh, uh, vt threshold voltage and uh, swing and uh, off currents are sensitive to gate length and dopant variations so because of this we have this high design cost okay so high vdd uh, so be, uh, and that of that, uh, that, that uh, and because of that high vdd we have high power usage okay so uh, finally we need to change our old mosfets by a new structure okay also there is a power consumption problem not just a big uh, chip and package thermal issues so nowadays ic's use around a, a few percentage of world electricity today and uh, chip per power per chip is gro uh, uh, continually growing ic units are also growing if power consumption is not reduced in our integrated circuits then industry future growth is at risk so power consumption is required to be controlled cmos power crisis as transistor density has increased the supply voltage vdd has not decreased proportionality okay so uh, the power density no constraints cmos chip designs so here we have this uh, uh, relationship between uh, uh, voltage and technology generation okay so it's uh, uh, cmos voltage scaling so uh, as uh, our technology shrinks so we have this less supply voltage or vdd okay so it's continually decreasing okay so the vt is decreasing but at the same time the power dissipation is increasing okay so uh, because uh, now here you can see the power density is increasing as we continually scaling down our uh, transistors okay so because we have more and more number of transistors for silicon okay so because we want uh, uh, more and more functionality in our integrated circuits so uh, we want to integrate more and more number of transistors so that's why uh, each uh, transistor contributes to uh, power dissipation okay so nowadays we have uh, uh, huge power dissipation in uh, uh, chips so this power dissipation is required to uh, uh, be tackled or required to be reduced okay so our new uh, fin fit structure it will help in reducing this power dissipation so we also want low threshold voltage and low off currents so uh, need smaller uh, swing and less variation of uh, this swing and threshold voltage okay so here you can see this uh, uh, relationship between this drain current and volt uh, gate voltage and here you can see this uh, uh, as the device shrinks so uh, you can see this these swings are uh, basically variations are higher okay so uh, variation between this uh, uh, vt and off currents are higher but we need smaller variations okay so reducing electric oxide thickness is uh, not enough okay so here you can see this gate source drain and uh, this is your leakage pot okay so uh, as we are co continually shrinking down our transistor so gate cannot controls the leakage current paths that are far from the gate okay so this is one issue uh, so we have the solution okay so one of the two way ways to uh, better control this uh, vt and uh, this swing 
okay so we have uh, this kind of uh, structure called fenfit okay so uh, in the fenfit gate controls a thin body from more than one side okay so here we have this uh, source drain and we have this multi gate transistors uh, okay and the, here we have this fin fit uh, basically uh, fin fit structure okay so here you can see this uh, uh, now this is your gate length this is source this is drain and this is the gate area and uh, you can see uh, now the gate is wrap around this uh, uh, source drain areas okay so so fin fit body is a thin fin okay so here uh, you can see this uh, this is uh, basically your fin fit so why do we need uh, uh, another transistor structures or the new transistor structure because uh, uh, we want to uh, basically uh, control our leakage currents okay so the leakage currents uh, we want to control uh, the leakage occur in the re region away from the channel surface okay so uh, we want to get rid of this so uh, another option is this ultra thin body mosfet okay so now we have uh, either we have the option of uh, fin fit or this uh, uh, silicon on insulator wafer here we have okay so uh, this is called ultra thin body mosfet so this is another option to reduce our off currents so the multi gate uh, 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 mosfet and the fin fit the way of eliminating deep submerged leakage path in is to provide gate control from more than one side of the channel okay the silicon film is very thin so that leakage path is far free far from one of the gate therefore the gate can suppress leakage current more effectively than the conventional mosfet because there are more than one gate the structure is called multi gate mosfet okay so here you can see uh, uh, this multi gate mosfet structure or uh, this is uh, the double gate uh, basically uh, the mosfet structure here okay so uh, uh, this is your source drain and uh, now you have this uh, two gates okay so uh, this this structure is called double gate uh, mosfet fin fit so now we will uh, explain fin fit so let's uh, start discussion about the fin fit a fin field effect transistor or fin fit is a multi gate device a mosfet mosfet is metal oxide semiconductor uh, field effect transistor that is built on a substrate where gate is placed on two three or four sides of the channel or wrapped around the channel forming a double gate structure these devices have been given the generic name fin fits because the source drain region form fins on the silicon surface the fin fit device has significantly faster switching times and higher current densities than planar cmos uh, technology fin fit is a type of non planar transistor or 3d transistors it is basis of modern nano electronic semiconductor device fabrication micro chips are utilizing fin fit gate gates and it first becomes commercialized in the first half of year 2010 and became the dominant gate design at 14 nanometer 10 nanometer and 7 nanometer process nodes okay so here uh, in the figures we have this uh, fin fit structures okay so uh, the multi gate uh, 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 structure called fin fit is uh, basically uh, uh, attractive for its simplicity of fabrication okay so the channel consists of two vertical surface 
and top surface of the fin okay so here we have question what is the channel width okay so the answer is the sum of twice the fin height and width of the fin okay so here uh, this is your uh, uh, simple fin fit structure okay so here we have this silicon on insulator fin fit and bulk fin fit okay so these are uh, the different types of fin fit structures okay uh, fin design considerations okay so we have uh, uh, three things here uh, fin width fin height and fin pitch okay so uh, like uh, this is uh, your fin okay so this is the fin uh, uh, basically this is the fin uh, fin so this is your drain source and uh, this is the gate area basically and this is the gate length so uh, basically uh, uh, so when we design this fin uh, 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 basically fin gate so it determines the short channel effects okay so fin height uh, basically it is limited by edge technology okay so it is having the trade off between uh, uh, layout efficiency and uh, design flexibility okay so the third thing is fin pitch okay so it uh, uh, basically determines layout area okay so it limits source drain implant tilt angle okay so it is having trade off between performance and layout efficiency okay so this is uh, basically uh, the fin pitch okay so the fin pitch is basically uh, the spacing between two fins okay so uh, this was the fin design considerations so now we uh, we will discuss the double gate versus tri gate FETs okay so the double gate FETs doesn't require a high selective gate edge due to its protective dielectric hard mask additional gate fringing capacitances is less of an issue for tri gate FET since the top fin surface contributes to current conduction in the on state okay so here we have this uh, double uh, gate FET and tri gate FET okay so these are basically uh, the conduction channels okay so this is your double gate and uh, the tri gate uh, FETs so here we have uh, this uh, various uh, uh, multi gate transistor structures uh, that are supported uh, uh, in uh, in uh, bsim cmg uh, uh, basically models so here we have this fin fit on bulk fin fit on uh, silicon on insulator okay so this is uh, common uh, this is vertical common gate fet okay so here uh, we have this uh, uh, twin silicon nanowire fet and uh, uh, this is uh, basically horizontal nanowire FET okay so these are um, uh, basically the uh, different uh, uh, multi gate transistor uh, structures that we can use uh, uh, in the development of uh, future integrated circuits okay so the uh, now, now we will uh, discuss the variations of uh, uh, the fin fit okay so the variations of the fin fits So here we have uh, these three types of fin fits: tall fin fit, short fin fit, and nanowire uh, fin fits. Okay, so these uh, three are called the variations of fin fit. Tall fin fit has the advantage of providing a large uh, width and therefore large on current. Okay, while occupying a small footprint. So uh, your short FinFit has the advantage of less challenging lithography and etching. And nanowire FET gives the gate even more control over the transistor body by surrounding it. Okay, so uh, these are uh, the different variations of uh, FinFit structure. Okay, so uh, in this lecture today we discuss uh, uh, about uh, the FinFit structure. So why uh, basically we 
uh, we already discussed why we uh, developed this uh, FinFit structure and uh, uh, why we needed uh, the, uh, that uh, FinFit structures. Okay, so this was for all today. So see you next time. Uh, goodbye.